All right, everybody, so we crowdsourced our next build. In other words, we're gonna let you guys determine what we're building next. And that is going pretty cool, and we're fixing to tell you what you guys out there picked. And we've got Miss Midnight stopping by, and we're doing a little Beer 30 action, so get you some of this. So what's up everybody? The votes came in and they came in rapidly and a lot of them, but the overwhelming majority of you wanted to see us build the 78 F100 Ranger Lariat, what I'm calling a double badge truck, super cool with a super kick-ass patina. And now that we've decided what truck, the guy sat down and gave me a list of all kinds of options and you guys and gals out there are gonna help us decide. And there are a lot of options. We're gonna go through this truck front to back. So first of all, we've gotta figure out what style do we want? Now, you can go slammed, you can go resto mod, you can go pro touring. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways to build this truck. We could even go back to factory, which I think is kind of boring. Then there's engines. Now, I know it's a Ford, but we could LS swap it. That's pretty popular. We could uh, rebuild the factory 351, put a little guts in it, make it a little better, a little meaner. Or, or my favorite, we go with a Coyote swap. Now, that could be pretty wicked, and there's a lot of options with the Gen 3 Coyotes, so I think that that could be pretty cool. But don't let me influence your vote. I wanna know what you guys and gals think. Next, we're getting uh, where we're gonna put some power, put some uh, rubber to the road, so to speak. So do we boost it? Are we thinking supercharger or turbo? Obviously, you know, those are two options. You know, figure it out, I don't know. Maybe we wanna bust through the hood and put a big ass blower on it. Obviously, transmission-wise, there's only a couple of choices. Do we wanna go automatic or do we want to have that third pedal and maybe uh, six gears screeching through this thing? Then, when it comes to chassis, now this is the setup and how we're gonna look. Do we want this thing to be air ride or static coilovers? Uh, again, if we go with a factory, we can do that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of choices on the, the way that the stance of this truck is gonna look. Now, picking up with wheel style, there's a lot of ways to go, but to me, uh, the wheels that we pick to go on the vehicle are always determined on how the vehicle is sitting, you know, whether it's on air or whether it's static or what have you. So we could go with uh, a billet wheel, a three-piece wheel, you know, a resto uh, looking uh, original wheel, the original wheels, these torque thrusts, I don't know, y'all choose. And then the hard one, paint. The reason I bought this truck is because it is absolutely killer patina, 100% original paint on here. There's literally, I wouldn't say zero rust, but there's very, very little rust in the body of this truck and it is very nice. It's never been a part. I like the patina, but I'll let you guys decide. We could go back with the original colors, just like you see it here, or we could do a factory look, maybe pick some other colors, maybe black and silvers or white and blacks, or I don't know, we could gold metal flake this thing as far as I'm concerned, like the old Midas monkey. But, uh, and then last but not least on this set of selections is interior. There's a lot of ways to go with interior. I think again, form and function. What is the truck designed to look like? What is it designed to do? So you don't just throw race seats in there because you have some race seats, uh, but you also don't just keep the bench because you did a coyote swap. So there's a lot of choices in the way that we could do the interior. We could go factory restyle, modern, resto rod, or race. There's your choices. That's going to kick us all the way through to tearing down this truck and getting after it. Get your votes in and get them quick. We got to move faster on this because with the holidays and everything, we lost a little bit of time trying to make sure of uh, what we wanted to pick and, and what we wanted to get out of this. So time's a wasting. GasMuggyGarage.com is always open 24 hours a day. Uh, make sure you get entered to win the Texas Skidmark, which is the last truck we built that blew away SEMA. This one I think can be just as cool and maybe even cooler. So get you some of that and get your boat in right now. Click the link below. Oh, what's up everybody? Uh, little special edition of Beer 30 uh, that we got going on right here. We have uh, Miss Maverick, uh, better known AKA as Tess, right? Yep, Tess. All right, well welcome to Gas Monkey Garage and all of its uh, stunning glory. We've got uh, Ferrari stuff laying around, all kinds of projects going on back there. And uh, I'm glad you stopped by and I'm glad we could work it out because you, uh, you keep this car like where? We keep this car in Ohio. We but live, you live in California. In California. <laughs> a little bit far away, but there's a lot more racing in Ohio and that side of the country than there is in California for the type of racing we do. But uh, you just came from Louisiana. We drove from Ohio with the car truck trailer to Louisiana um, for a 90 car street race. 90 car street race, yeah. just elimination, keep going around until yeah, there's one? 
90 cars, so 45 pairs, and then just, just keep going. start eliminating. How'd you do? Uh, we didn't do so well, so that's fine. Our friend got runner up. So. I get it. I get it. You know, <laughs> I've paid for a lot of racing. Yeah. I'm not a racer myself, but uh, it's, it's, it's so much. I didn't realize that so much goes into whether it's street racing or, you know, Gas Monkey was in top fuel for about four years and, and pro mods and everything else. And it's like, there's just this wonderful, weird uh, thing. You have to get all these pieces to work. Mm -hmm. And 99% of the time, they don't. You know, it's yeah. just, uh, you know, that's why you see the, especially in top fuel, which I saw is the consistent runners. They've been running that same thing, that same recipe every day, day in and day out. And they very rarely change it. But uh, no, that's super cool. So um, how long does it take to do something? Is that one night? It took 30 hours. So <laughs> we met up seven in the morning on a Sunday. Cops kept showing up, um, you know, it's illegal street racing. You can't expect to get it off without So what happening. do y'all do, run and then come back? Nobody really ran, which is weird to me. Because street racing, you'd think if cops show up, you're going to get in trouble. But no, everyone just stood there and stared at them and then slowly left. But they went back the next night, finally got the street race off. I think it finished Monday. So Sunday morning we met. We did a few pairs, went back Sunday night. And then we finished Monday about noon. But this is real racing. This yeah. isn't like that BS they put on cable that yeah. they got everything all closed up and fake and talking all kinds of shit. And, and again, yeah. running the exact same car thousands of times a, a year, uh, you know, and what have you. I had some uh, dealings with the, those guys and a lot of them are super nice guys. Mm -hmm. And there's a few of them that uh, are not so super nice. <laughs> But, I mean, that's with everything. There's some guys that are super nice, some guys that are mean. Exactly, exactly. But I, I put a, I put a little uh, fear in them on both times. Uh, I think when we raced uh, uh, Chief, we were like um, one one hundredth of a second off of him oh my God. on a car that we had only taken down the track three times, and then we didn't really do so well the second time. And then when we raced Fireball, he was on top. Uh, is that right? Fireball Camaro. Yeah, Fireball. He yeah, was... super nice guy. Mm -hmm. I love that guy. We were within a hundredth of a second of him with the car we had only taken down the track 21 times. And I mean, they, they both got out of their cars after the first race. We're like, what the hell? Yeah. You know, and I'm like, don't ask me, dude. I just told my guys to build a race car that could beat. And, uh, you know, I wish it would have went better because I lost some money there. But so in these street races, are y'all racing for serious cash? It's like, wow, you're talking smack. $27,000 was the winnings. So $27,000 to me, with the trip and going to get it and going down there and hotels and everything else. And then whatever you got to put into the car, mm -hmm. that doesn't even cover it, does it? Uh, I it, mean, if you include the car and everything that's into the car, no, it doesn't cover it. No, it I mean, just the trip, expenses yeah. of doing it and taking the gas and the batteries and this and whatever you need. It's more just like a passion for me. It's more just, you know, just going out there and racing and the just the, the chance that you're going to get caught by the cops or just it's, it's the adrenaline. It's the adrenaline of the competition. I don't get really caught. do it for the money, really. I get get caught by the cops. I don't know if I that that's the sound of <laughs> adrenaline to me. Going to the slammer overnight is yeah. like not not fun. I've done it a few <laughs> times. It's not bueno. Uh, but uh, so tell me, how did you get into this? Uh, what what got you racing? Oh man, uh, I probably started racing in high school when I got the great idea to put nitrous on a diesel truck and race all the Honda boys. Okay, <laughs> love it. And then it, just, it, it progressed from there. I got my first Mustang, and then I got really into Mavericks. Um, I had, like, a streetcar Maverick that eventually turned into a really fast, like, quarter-mile, six-second race car. Uh, Mavericks, Comets, I love those yeah. things. I had a Comet as a kid. Everybody out there knows it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think the styling are, are really cool on those cars. And, I love uh, it. And, and even these, the old uh, Fox bodies, mm -hmm. you know, what is this, like, 86? 86? 86, yeah. Okay. And how fast is that? Uh, the fastest it's been so far, quarter miles, like a 10.08 at 140. That's it's a stick shift car, so it's it's not as consistent as it should be. We just put a uh, Liberty face-plated TKX in it, so it, it gets into gear every time now, but before it was synchronized and second gear was not happy. Well, uh, who's, are, there, are there different categories for like your car, or is it no, come street it, race? Just come all. do it. Yeah. No but, matter what. So somebody can show up at the new Demon 170 and mm -hmm. just smoke everybody. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely outgunned there. Uh -huh. Definitely. Um, there's cars that go really fast at that. It's, it, this is just a street car. There's actual race cars that were there. So. All right, so this looks like a good time to pop open a beer. You're more than welcome to that one right there. It's a it's Garage a beer? Yep, it's my new beer. It's called Garage Beer. We like it here. It's a garage, and I'll it's beer. It. 
What's not to like? <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Uh, so um, what is your big plans for next year? Um, next year. So we're bringing this. Well, it already is next year. This is, is now year. the second this year. <laughs> okay. So this year. This year. We're bringing this car back home to do some maintenance. We're going to do a front half on it. Um, clean it up. It's got AFR 225 heads on it right now. We're going to put um, trick flow high port 240s on it. See if we can make a little more power. Uh, just just get it cleaned up because it's been in Ohio. It's driven in the salt. It's 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 a little musty. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, but uh, you know, you get a, you get. Well, it's illegal. You're not really out there getting sponsors or anything, are you? Um, there are. I some. mean, I'm sure they help with some of the parts and yeah. things like that, but nobody's going to slap a big old sticker on the side of it, <laughs> like I, like Gas Monkey, and yeah. uh, oh, there goes Gas Monkey going to jail again. Yeah. But, <laughs> we have sponsors that are okay with street racing. I have been approached by some sponsors that said, "I'll sponsor you, but you have to stop street racing," and that's not really what I want to do. I don't want to change my lifestyle just for a sponsor. So. Hmm. What about for money? For money? <laughs> it would have to be a lot. But even then, I'd still think about it. No, I get it. I get it. Well, uh, I'm really excited that you're here. I want to show you around. I want to show you the Texas skid mark. Let you check that out because, uh, as you know, we're giving it away, and I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a big prize for me to give away. I mean, was, we got a lot of money in that truck. Yeah. And I'm uh, pretty excited to uh, see what happens on that. So there you go. That's Beer 30. Awesome. Thank now you so much. let's turn those damn cameras off so we can get to drinking. <laughs>